Hi everybody, it's Lynette from Kits and Bits here. Today we're going to look at table basics, how to insert new tables, how to add or delete rows and much more. I'm using Office 365 but the functions that we're using should be available in Office 2007 onwards. So we have our document open. I've just used my standard document template but you can try this in any existing document. The default word settings will be the same. The only thing that will look different is the colouring. So to begin with, we go to the Insert tab and click on the Table drop-down. From here you have a few options. You can insert a standard table with standard settings with the number of rows and columns that you need. If for any reason you need a table with more than 10 columns and 8 rows, you can click Insert Table and enter the specific number of columns and rows you require. You can also insert some preformatted tables using quick tables, but we'll leave that for another video. We're going to start by inserting a simple 3x4 table. As soon as we activate a table, the Table Tools tab appears and we have the Design and Layout tabs underneath that. The Design tab focuses on the colouring of the cells and the borders and the Layout tab focuses on the settings of the table, columns, rows and cells such as size, margins, distribution, position, etc. We're just going to fill it with some dummy text at the moment so that you can see the changes as we do them. You can very easily alter the number of columns using the insert functions. So I select B row and click insert above. The new row becomes the active row, so if I now click insert below, we now have two new rows in between A row and B row. The same applies to columns, so if I select the numbers column and click insert left, then insert right, I get two columns between the letters and numbers columns. I can select the new columns and rows and then click delete rows and columns respectively. Deleting, splitting and merging cells is a little bit trickier and you can mess your table up so I'll cover this in a follow up video. We can change the row height irrespective of the font or content size and you can change the alignment of entire tables, columns or rows using the alignment functions. You can then change the look and feel using the design tab. You can change the cell shading or the border or you can use a pre-designed format in the table styles. You can then play around with the options to get the look that you want. That's all for this video. I hope you've got something out of it. Take a look at my other videos to learn more about taming your tables.